the premiere of the African election. It is um, a documentary showcasing the election which happened in Ghana in 2008. It's showcasing, it will be showcasing the power of the people during the election. The people saying no, the people demanding for peace and demanding for a free and fair election. We're hoping to have a fantastic time today. We'll be bringing you Jarrett, the producer, would be answering some questions. Right, this is Jarrett, the producer. We're just here just asking him a few questions. We've just watched um, the movie and we think that it's fantastic. So we'd just like to ask him a few questions quickly. Hello, Jarrett. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How did you think that went? I think it was brilliant. Um, the fact that people stayed for the Q&A and actually kept asking questions, you know, meant that they were immersed in the story, but they got it. Okay. Um, why did you pick Ghana? That's the first question in my mind. Uh, because I spent my childhood in Ghana. Okay. That's where my, those were my formative years. Okay. That's where I started to to smell, to love. I think my first kiss was in Ghana. <laughs> oh, that's a secret. <laughs> if given the opportunity, would you go to any other African countries? Yes, um, I did go to Zimbabwe. Okay. Um, I did go to Kenya. I did go to Nigeria. Um, okay. You know, my, my dad is Nigerian. It was. Oh. That's the way 2007. But, um, 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 you know, there's more to come, obviously. Yeah. I want to travel all of Africa. And I think with the film now, that's going to be the, the opportunity okay. to do that. Are there any particular challenges that you face that, you know, we're a bit like, am I still going to do this? What, what were the like, most challenging things that you faced while being there filming? Um, I think it was the challenge of Africa, or West Africa in itself, that everything is unpredictable. You don't have the resources on a day-to-day -day basis like you have in, you know, let's say in England. Yeah. You don't just go to a store and buy this or that, mm. even though everything's available, but you'll pay an exorbitant price. Um, you know, I had malaria while we were shooting. That wasn't fun. Um, that was a big challenge. But, you know, let's turn it around. Let's say what mm. was the most inspiring. That's right. It was the people. Okay. It was the absolute support of the people. And I think that bridged the gap mm. of all the things that didn't work. Because okay. it is a third world country. Even though it's huge progress being made, um, by the end of the day, unfortunately, you know, not everyone is enjoying a life at a certain standard and level that they should be or th which they deserve. Okay. Obviously, that was in 2008. Do you, have you followed the progress on since then? I followed the progress. I mean, you know, finally there's some hard cash, you know, flowing into the country because of the, the oil revenues. Um, but I think more importantly, you know, yes, there's the oil revenues and there is progress being made. There's money coming back into the coffers of the state. I think more importantly is that Ghana, again, you know, it's, it's the psychology mm -hmm. of the people has been reaffirmed that Ghana, not only Ghana, that Africa has this potential, this mm. absolute potential, which is not, people always speak about the, the natural resources. I'm like mm. sick and tired of hearing that. We know they're there. It's about the resources of the people and what they have to offer if you give them a chance. You know, and they, of course, have to give themselves that chance. Like I have to give myself my chance. Mm. You know, but if, if, you, if, you, if you're made to believe that you're always a third world country, you're always behind, when will you ever believe that you are actually the heroic figure within this whole thing, you know? So it's, it's a very tricky psychological yeah. game. So this has definitely changed sort of the view of Africa, the view of what we can do, what we can achieve as a continent, or where we're going. Do you think that this predicts that we are going places? Do you know what? We're going, we've been going places a long time, all the time, be, before this film. Um, this is just another story mm. that adds to the many stories that are, that are not being told and should mm. be told. You know, that's all there is. Because, you know, people are always talking about immersing democracies. I'm like, what are you talking about? No. Democracy is not a reinvention in Africa. It's part of our cultural heritage. Right. What are you talking about? Right. It's just we, we're still confused from a time and an era where we're trying to find back to our mm. own cultural identity and live, you know, with the new and the old in harmony. Mm. And it's, it just takes more time than, than we thought. Okay. What's your last message today? What would you like to say to people? Because I think that people should go out and watch this film. So... What would you say, just in two lines? This is about us. Okay. The different us that deserves to be seen. The beautiful, exciting us of which we can be proud. Here and now. You've heard it all. This is about us. Go out, watch the movie. It's out on Friday, officially. Yes. At the, at the Empire, in Leicester Square. And it's going to be running there for a week. And if attendance is good, it will be running for even longer than that. Thank you so much. And good luck with anything you're doing. Thank you so much, Eric. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for visiting our site.